Hi, this is Carmel. I'm the Crazy Cricket Lady, and I have seen a lot of questions lately on print and cut. So I'm going to explain the difference and what it's used for. This is a simple image that I've pulled up out of Access. Right now, it is a cut image, and as you see, every piece is cut out. I'm going to duplicate this a couple of times, and I'm going to show you each of the features of print and cut. Now, this one is a cut image, but say we want to print it. Just select it all, change it to print. If you go to make it, and I'm going to hide these just for the sake of simplicity, Okay, if you make it, what it does is it prints out every little piece on the same page and then cuts each little piece out. It can have its uses. It's still cutting out all the pieces and you still got to glue them all together. Let's go back. Okay, now we're going to bring back one of these. If I wanted to print and cut the whole cat, you would flatten it and click make it. This prints out the cat and cuts out the outline. So you get the whole cat as one piece. You don't have to piece anything together. It's just already made and already cut out. And bring back our cat. So you see the difference for just print and cut and then flatten. All our cats are back. This one is just printed. It prints each piece and you cut it out cuts it out and then you still have to glue it all together. This one is printed, the whole cat is printed and you cut it out as the whole cat. This one, it cuts out each little piece out of different color mats and you have to piece it all together. It's a little better quality than printing it out and piecing all the pieces together, but this one, which is just printed and this one which is just cut are essentially the same thing just the quality of paper is about the same but you have to do the same amount of gluing whereas this one prints out the image as a whole and you only have to glue one piece so print and cut saves you from having to glue things. This is especially important when you upload pictures. And I'm going to upload a picture. I'm going to stop the video right now, upload a picture, and show you what I mean. To show you how to upload an image, and we're going to do a really simple image that I've selected here out of my I know, this flower isn't very pretty, but it's very simple. And if I say uploaded it as a simple image, hit continue, I have a choice between print and cut or save as a cut image. We're going to save it as a print and cut. Then you can insert the image as a print and cut image. This is how you want to do most of them. Most of them are not this simple. But if I wanted to upload a fairly complex image, and we're going to choose this one, and we're going to call it moderately complex. By the way, you can shrink things down so that you can see them here. All of the background is removed, and we're going to continue. Now I can save it as a cut image, save it as a cut image, or save it as a print and cut. We're going to save this one as a print and cut. And more complex this is, the longer it takes. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know I hear the Jeopardy theme in my head as these are working. I won't sing the Jeopardy theme for you now. We're just going to sit here and wait for it. And then you can put the image into the project as a print, print and cut image. And you can resize it. 
but it will print then cut. And if you click make it, it will print it out and then cut all the little pieces out. I hope that explains print and cut to everybody. This is Carmel. I'm the Crazy Cricket Lady. And if you have any questions, you can email me at blog at crazycricketlady.com or just message me from my Facebook group. I will answer all questions. Thank you very much.